city. And I can knock on any door. So a lot of the talk on how they say you got to leave your city, you got ops everywhere. I ain't never experienced it. I don't know if you grew up there, but uh, I have to ask you, um, we get a lot of people and we see it a lot as far as in Shreveport, the, uh, the stories about Cooper Road. How important is uh, Cooper Road and the history that goes down there? Uh, it's important. Yeah. Um, tell us as far as what makes it so legendary as far as like, you know, because again, you know, we, we just two hours up the road, but we don't know the, the intricate details. It's his own place. They ain't never cared about what nobody else was doing. They ain't never follow trends. Mm. Mm. They, they did them for life and, and gonna always do them for life. It ain't no place like the Cooper Road. I ain't from the Cooper Road, I'm from Cedar Grove. Oh yeah. But I got plenty of homeboys on the Cooper Road and every time they invited me over there, like it was, a, it, was, it was a place like I ain't never been before. Like I love the Cooper Road. I love the Cooper Road. Like, so let's put it in perspective. It's, 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 it's a city inside of a city. Yeah. Like I call Cooper Road his own town, his own city, like. It's legendary, the way, the way they talk about it. I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, so let's put it like this, as far as perspective, man. If uh, you were to ask, let's say, 10 kids out of Shreveport, um, have they left the city at, at, by age 18? How many would say they've left uh, the, the city or the state? Mm, two. Two out of 10 might have left the city. Now, what? The state. You know, that, two that's out of ten men left the state in the Yeah, the they, state, yeah. Yeah, they probably came to Dallas. Yeah. I mean, that's part of as far as they come um man, that's that's a detriment right there as far as being able to open someone's eyes to see kind of more of the world. Um uh I, I'm sure the answer to that, the reason for that is poverty, but uh like is there something where people just kinda of have pride with staying where they're at and not moving around and have pride of like I ain't I'm I'm from here, I've lived here, I'm gonna die here. And I ain't, I ain't gonna say it's just poverty because I got a lot of homeboys with real money. And I mean, if it ain't poverty, is it pride? Like just pride of your I, hometown? I don't think it's pride. I think it's just, um, you stuck in your ways. It's like once you've been doing something for so long, you lose the desire to try new stuff. If you ate pizza every day for three weeks straight and I came over here and said, hey bro, I'm hungry. You'll say, let's get a piece. Like, if that's, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, I think it's just after doing something for so long, you just, you just, that's all you know, you know? Now, uh, most recently, something that was sad to see in the news was. They ain't broke though. It ain't like they just there because they, they can't. They, broke. It's, like they got the, it's, they it's, got the means to leave. Yeah, they just choose not to get on a plane, not to get on a bus, not to drive their car. They don't want to fly. Yeah, they, they don't, don't want to do none of that. <laughs> I got homeboys that ain't gonna get on a plane and, and like, it gotta be like, a, somebody gotta be dead. <laughs> yeah. For real. That's and crazy. I'm talking about, I don't know, it's just, they don't like traveling like that, bro. In Louisiana, people got everything they need right there where they at. When you wake up in the morning, really yeah, see like in California or somewhere, um, you, you got the same thing in the hood. Like people in, 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 in in they certain little hoods like Compton, they ain't gotta leave. They, ain't, they got everything they want right there. So as much as you saying it's a whole world out here, they enjoying the hell out of the world that they in. It's like, it's a such thing as not desiring as much as you desire. Cause a lot of people think you gotta, you gotta leave your hometown. Like one thing I know for sure is if I sit in my hometown, Everything I want gonna be brought right there to me. I was arguing with somebody from New York the other day. I was like, I don't, I don't know what you think going on down here. We got everything we want right here, just like you think you got all over the world. Um, all my people right here, everybody who love me right here. I go out of town, I'm around weird people who I gotta look at funny or they look at me funny when I ask them to do something. My people asking me if I need something every day. That ain't nothing that you itching to get away from. See. Some people don't have a community like we got a community. Like when I ride through my hood, it ain't no house I can't walk in. I can, I can literally get out on feet and walk through my hood and just walk in door from door to door. If, if you've been down there with me, you know that. And everybody gonna let me in. My car could break down anywhere in the city and I can knock on any door. So a lot of the talk on how they say 
You got to leave your city. You know, you got ops everywhere. I ain't never experienced that. The only thing I ever experienced was everywhere I go, they say that. What up, little Kane? Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.